and it is time for some more XCOM. I've been wanting to play this. I, I've waited until streaming, of course, but I've been wanting to play it because we've made all the contacts. We have plenty of income every month, although if you can see, I have exactly zero money. I somehow did that. But it's almost time to get paid in a few weeks. Uh, power might be an issue, but I can upgrade this power right here, I think. Or one of them. Although I have to put an engineer in it. That's fine. And let's see what we were doing. What we were doing. We have this thing. Uh, Proving Grounds experimental ammo, I believe. Or weapon. Heavy weapon. Ammo. Supply drop in three days. Only three days, huh? Thought it was longer than that. Hmm. Uh, then Proving Grounds experiment. That's, that's, what is that? Experimental ammo. There we go. All right. Also, the next month we get paid. We're finally going to make our robot teammate finally good. Oh yeah, mission. I, I always forget we land, and this mission is going to be easy. I say that now, but there's an Archon, Elite Lancer, sec Sectopod's a bit of a pain, but Heavy Mech. There's only nine enemies though. This isn't that bad. This is also a neutralized target, which is usually pretty easy. Setting course for usually. Chile. Oh good, it's dark screen day for you, huh? Go Twitch mobile app. I know a co I know someone else who has that problem. Um, it's a friend of uh, another streamer that I talk to sometimes and like pop in their streams. Uh, her mobile app doesn't work at the time. It's 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 the app. It's the app combined with like internet service and what kind of phone you have. All right, time to remove everyone once again. What the? That was weird. Hasn't done that before, I don't think. Oh, yay, that lets me do this now. Yay. I'm not going to do this because um, the, the snake armor is Jay's and the Archon armor is mine. I'm not going to take that off. And who's leading this mission? Me, of course, because I'm still only a major. <laughs> I need to level up. I am tempted to take this thing off as powerful as this thing is. The re constant reloading is a pain. However... Make a deal with myself. Once I get better mods for that third rifle, the Stark rifle, once I get better mods for it, I'll I'll start using that. But for now, it has like level one crap mods on it. Uh, music can come with me as a grenadier. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I didn't get a lot of sleep. <laughs> I uh, I meant to go to bed early because uh, I was having like a brainstorming session this morning with someone for like alerts and stuff and Twitch ideas. And I stayed up late last night trying to work on that stuff. So I kind of like messed up and tried to do both at the same time. My alarm went off today and I, just, I didn't want to get out of bed. Uh, let's do, let's have one more Grenadier. How about Hazel? No, 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 no. Both Music and Hazel both have. Well, that's weird. Oh, that's right. Hazel was in here last time. Both Music and Hazel have a uh, hollow sights, which by the way, I already made a mistake. I already made a mistake. Before every mission, I have to keep the same people in, and I have to take off their stuff. And I already forgot who was on the mission. Now we're playing Find the Gun. Uh, let's see. Vegeta, do you have one of my guns on you? You do not. All right. Mistake learned. When the next mission starts, take all the weapons off first. Oh, yeah, and yes, thank you for letting me know. Yep, the 12 hour stream is a go. I just don't know what I'm doing in it yet. Not fully. I have a couple ideas. Oh, come on. Ninja doesn't have it. While we're here, edit, load out. There we go. Hazel doesn't have one. I already know that. Uh, I believe. I, I can't tell from the picture. It's hard. I don't think she does. No. You can kind of tell from the picture because it has like it has like if someone has a scope on it, you can tell. Uh, Lishi, I believe. Yep, she. Yep, she has the Vicarian. Yes, hopefully, or at least the whole thing. I mean, <laughs> it's weird how it's random. Some days it works for you, some days it doesn't. Maybe it'll just fix itself over a twelve-hour period. Yep, Lishi has the cool-looking uh, Vicarian on her. There's only one sniper rifle, so I have one. I have one more heavy to find. No, M doesn't have anything. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Julie, 
Nope, she's a sniper. Never mind. I keep forgetting that. Hey, Julie has been something different every timeline. Heather. Yep, she has something. You can tell because it's different than her armor color. She has the she has the executioner, doesn't she? Yep. Nope, don't put that on. Alright. I think I only need to find two more. Or one more even. Uh Pilgrim? Yep, I think he has the other one. Yep, he does. That should it that should be it, right? I no, Laylee has one too. Yep. Nope, get back here. <laughs> Come back. Oh, that's right. I need to also remember to put her in the thing. I forgot to put her in the thing last time where she levels up. Yep. And we're good. Okay. Now remove everyone except for me. Okay. Now we can begin. I think, I think I'm going to start with Mass Effect 1 just because it's the first thing I wanted to stream. Technically, it's not the first thing I did stream. I streamed Final Fantasy X first. But I streamed it, like, literally the next day. I am starting Andromeda when Mass Effect Mondays kicks in at the week after my 12-hour stream. But I think I'm going to do an Iron Man run. I had the idea, just because I ha it's called Mass Effect Mondays doesn't mean it's going to be only one Mass Effect game. Sometimes I'll mix in, like, an Iron Man run. Just like in Pokemon, I'll mix in, like, a Pokemon Snap or Pokemon Trading Card Game, Pokemon Rental Randomizer on Stadium, that kind of stuff. What am I doing? Stop that. Okay. Okay. Music. Also, heavy that doesn't have hollow targeting. I believe Shadow doesn't. Let me check. Doesn't he have it unlocked yet? Well, then we're fine. Oh, no, she did. I, oh, God. I, I took... I Come on. I uninstalled the mod. Well, I didn't uninstall them, but I turned them off again. And as you'll see, uh, arms keep disappearing. It's a little annoying. Also, that I keep having to replace them with the correct arm. There we go. Stop losing arms, please. Oh, yeah, I know. I decided to keep it. <laughs> I think it's just funny. Let's just keep it that way. All right, well, everyone still has arms. That's good. Now I need a ranger. I didn't bring a ranger last time. Uh, Oh, no, I brought Heather. That's right. That's right. That was the one before. Let's bring Vegeta. And then for a, for a sharpshooter... Mm, bring him. She's kind of like a middle-of-the-road sniper. And let's bring another specialist. I kept saying I'd bring two specialists, and we only have two more. I think I need to hire another person and make them a specialist. But chocolate it is. All right. Now for weaponry. Music has hollow targeting, I believe, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. Which means she needs the better accuracy one. So, load out. It would be pain trained. Good. And then Shadow will get the one that's just damage and crit chance. But doesn't have holo targeting, so that way the holo... Like, basically, music will always shoot first. If these two tag team a heavy mech, which is what their job is, kind of, they will... Uh, the one who has the holo targeting will always shoot first. All right. Also, I don't think I can improve the rocket launchers. I think you can only improve that twice. Makes sense, because it's human. I guess it... I guess, well... Yeah, aliens don't have grenade launchers, so... All right, Vegeta. Do I give you the Executioner? Or do I give you this, the, uh, the, I'm giving you this. I mean, come on. His name is Vegeta. I'm giving him the Executioner. And Chocolate can have the accurate one, the Hawkeye. All right. Now we get to do this part. See, again, th this makes my team so much better, but it makes, th it makes this part take so long. I wish, I wish the interface was a little better for this. Like an interface where you could see everything at once and just put wherever you want. All right. Uh, Vegeta, you're going to eat the flashbang. Again, flashbang is just in case weapon. Not frost bomb. Flashbang. Uh, Chocolate's going to get the med kit. Not as good with it as Jay is, but still useful. All right. I, she has double grenade, I think. I always forget which one comes first. The double, the double grenade... Or the uh, double dam, or the time, or plus two damage. Okay, that's that's the extra damage. Oh no no! I wow, I am out of it right now. Stupid no sleep. Yeah, that's the extra use. Okay, so I'm gonna give her the frost bomb and the EMP grenades, or not uh, EMP rounds. 
Ooh. I've actually never played a God of War game. Thought about it. There's a lot of games I haven't played, and I should. There's a lot of PS4 stuff on my list I haven't played yet, like Horizon Zero Dawn. All right, and since uh, you don't have those, I'm going to give you the EMP bomb. Actually, you know what? I should reverse it because the EMP bomb does two more damage when it's on the person that does two more damage. Music doesn't have that. But... Nah, that's fine. That's fine. I'm nitpicking here. All right. Myself gets the Bernie rounds because I like them. And I'll just take a grenade. Vegeta gets... Oh, by the way, I'm still a little low on bullets. I'm actually, I have two making right now, which is why you know, hey, uh, I always give my sniper the Talon rounds. Although I'm thinking about Tracer, because if you miss, you don't crit. But for now, I'll do that. I also want a second thing for snipers. I don't know if there's anything great to give them besides a grenade. I, I, I haven't really unlocked anything yet. I, I, heard the, I heard the newer God of War was really good. Oh, thank you. Yeah, oh, actually, wow, this is really coincidence. Bigfoot, this is the person I was talking about. Uh, Papaya, her uh, her Twitch on mobile also doesn't work quite right, <laughs> so she has similar issues to you. His, uh, his screen is black right now because he's watching on mobile. I don't have issues with the Twitch mobile, but maybe I just have a more compatible phone. But yeah, I would like to give her... I'll, I'll try to make something new for her. Maybe I'll give her an, ex, an extra med kit just to have one. Thank you. Thank you for the uh, the good stream wishes. Chocolate, I'm going to give you the Venom rounds. And, hmm. We have two spots left. Oh, thank you for the host, Bigfoot. Hmm. Honestly, I don't really like Tracer Rounds. That's why I don't want to use them. They, 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 feel, they feel awkward. Like, I don't know where to put them. You know what? Let's mix it up a bit. This person doesn't have accuracy on their gun. I'm going to give it to them, even though that wasn't the point. And I'm going to give Music the EMP Rounds. And I'm going to flip these. I think that makes more sense. This way, the EMP Grenade does two more damage on Shadow. And Music gets that... And that way, Shadow also gets the better accuracy. That works. And that way, Vegeta, I give him the Mind Jack, just in case I need it. It is an instant kill on stuff when it hits. So that's nice. It's like a new melee weapon. Which does seem kind of weird that I'm giving him two melee weapons, but nah, We're good. I think I'm finally set. I will get faster at this. Once I get used to like taking the stuff off faster and putting it back on, I'll get used to it. By the way, did I give everyone their correct weapons? I did not. The thing I was thinking. Uh, she already has the Hawkeye. Vicarian. Executioner. That's fine. Pain Train and Spray and Pray. Okay, we're good. First mission of the day. I believe it's just a rescue mission. But yes, this stream, when we get paid, we are going to... Uh, we're going to outfit Aura with the best possible stuff. I think the reason why it's so expensive is because the robot the robot can't equip weapon upgrades in any way. So I'm pretty sure that the the robot weapon upgrades probably give them like a, a set built-in buff to accuracy of some kind. That's probably why it's expensive. Oh, never mind. Oh, no, this is a capture or kill. The last time I tried this, I had to just snipe the leader. I had to snipe the VIP in the face and run. And that was the mission I got captured in. Ooh. But look at our new gear. I got all this cool stuff on. I didn't give a guy a helmet because he doesn't want he doesn't want his hair to get messed up. That's pretty far away. That's that's very far away. Although at least the exit point is right there. One grenade to that wall, we're we're there. That is so far away. I, wow. That is... That might be the far, but at least it's right there. Let's just run. We're running. There's only nine enemies on this. That is the best thing about having the Shadow Chamber, which, again, I'm learning here. I'm still learning stuff in the fourth timeline because I never made it far enough in the one through three to know what I did to, to build this. The Shadow Chamber lets you see enemies on the field. Moving 
I know exactly how many enemies are here. So if I push forward, I know I, I'm taking less chances. Will do. All right, M, you're the sniper. Kind of hang back a Roger little that. bit. I you notice how I always pick cover even though I don't need to. Like I could just move here, but uh, even just a little bit of cover helps. Even if you're flanked, makes me feel better. Got it. Oh, I get the camera. Yeah. Got it covered. Eh. And there's the mech. I hear him stomping around. Pretty soon we'll have our own mech that's even better. Well, not as good as a sectopod, but close. It. I cannot believe how far away that is. I, I'm going to, you know what, with that extra money that I have, I'm going to buy the thing that gives me plus three movement for the first two turns. I kind of need it. Go, go, Vegeta. Trigger all the enemies that are up here, probably. Hello. We're busted. Hello. <laughs> Eh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But he is only flanked by two enemies. It's fine. No problem, boss. All right, music. We need some help. 72%. That's pretty good. But I could do this. Ooh, and can I hit both of them? Come on. Come on. There it is. Eh. Now, sometimes I might... Oh, welcome back. I might still hit the cover Vegeta's on, because sometimes the grenades are a little wonky. Or I won't. Those two are dead. M. You got a good shot on both of them. All right. Uh, Shadow has no shot on anybody. Let's move her up. Moving to designated coordinates. Got a shot. Only shot I have makes sense to take it. And it's a crit, and his face is now no more. <laughs> you get shot in the face with this thing, and your head's just gone. Alright, M has a shot only on this person. If I move, I can't snipe. But if I move, I can use a pistol still. Although there's nowhere to move, so let's just take the shot. And then I'll run with her next turn. Here goes Vicarian. Boom. Of course the Vicarian headshots. You know, I didn't see what it was. The, the critical hit chance on her gun is ridiculous with all that stuff I have on it. I wasn't even paying attention to what it was. Probably pretty good. Aw. No one can go anywhere. <laughs> hmm. I need to kill this thing in two hits. We're going to take a chance. We're not going to get behind cover. On the move. Cover is overrated. 78%. And what gun do I have? I have the Hawkeye, which means even if I miss, I'll do three damage. That's a plus. Do it. Ah, oh, I missed. That wasn't even a graze. It was a miss. Yeah, yeah, Battle Frenzy. Luckily, guess who's left? Me. And look what weapon I have. Moving to position. Can I still hit him from here? I can. 80% chance. I don't have a chance to kill. I don't have a chance to kill, but I have a chance to stun, I think. Where's my stun chance? There is. Normally it says stun chance. Uh, can even stun, yep. Do it, me. That's a lot of damage. Maybe if Chocolate hadn't missed that easy shot, he'd be dead. Oh, he's burning. That's right. Even if he even if he does something bad this turn, next Oh, well, never mind. I win. <laughs> the burn was before he gets to go. I forgot about that. I'm glad I had the burn rounds. I've just, I know what the BFG is. I've barely played Doom. I played Doom 3 on the PC a long time ago. I played the original barely when I was younger. Haven't played any. I actually have the newer one. The one that came out a couple years ago. A few years ago. I have that one. I just haven't played it yet. My backlog is ridiculous. Re reload. And this is why I'm hesitant to use this weapon. It hits like a truck, but as soon as I get better mods for the other one, I think I'm done with it. Let's do this. Uh, everyone else is falling behind. We're gonna run forward. Affirmative. Just don't move too far up. Got it covered. That's good. Whiskey, good old, good old chocolate. Whiff. I don't know why her name is whiskey. Chocolate whiskey. Uh, music, run up. 
We only have 10 more turns, and I have to get someone in there to grab the VIP. We're grabbing the VIP this time. I could move... You know what? Let's do it. As long as I don't move too far forward, we're fine. Alright, that was a good turn of movement. And there is the heavy mech. Free hit. Good hit. I have not yet. The one that was in uh, Discord. We need to move and fight. Although I'm afraid to trigger multiple enemies at a time. That is the that is the downside to this game, the way it plays. I could move forward and gain some ground while attacking. But if I do and trigger other enemies, I'm in trouble. So we're going to move up a little bit, but not... Oh yeah, I have no grenades left with her. Nope. 85, 48, 40. Ugh. Ugh. Even worse. Ah, uh, apparently he overwatched. I missed that. Ow! It, did it say he overwatched? Because if it did, I missed it. I've actually never played a single... I've, okay, I've played one Resident Evil game. Only one. And it was five. And I only did it because a friend of mine had it and we played it co-op. It was fun. I know, it, I know it doesn't play like most Resident Evil games. Not really. Well, I guess it's more six, but... How did that miss? It was... All right. All right. Okay, game. All right, game. I see how it is. Forty-four. Haywire Protocol. Could hack him. Wait, where's me? Where's me? Get up here, me. And no cover. Oh, there we go. That'll work. Hopefully it didn't trigger enemies. Hopefully it didn't... Okay, good. All right, me. What you got? 47 and 47. Well. How about combat protocol? I can't see the robot, even though I can see him. Things aren't looking great. Things aren't looking great. Although I can kill the robot. Uh, I think she's shooting through Vegeta's head. Yep. That's yeah, okay. He can take it. Well, how about that? Now I'd like to kill something else. Oh, man. My ch I don't know how that grenade didn't hit him. I mean, it wouldn't have destroyed the cover, probably, but still. Would have been helpful. All right, me. 47% shot, huh? I might as well just overwatch. M should also overwatch. I know I'm falling far behind with her, but she is a sniper. Scanning. Uh, move you to cover. And overwatch. That's all I can As do. If people in the cities weren't brainwashed enough. Who knows what the aliens are putting in their heads for entertainment? Ooh, alien VR. Vegeta has to move. I don't want to move too far forward because again, I might trigger something. But Here this I should go. be safe, considering where everyone is. 46 and 42. Blech. Hail of bullets. Guaranteed hit. I forgot about this ability. It's a guaranteed hit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. With a chance of killing. Do it. I have so much ammo in my guns now. Do it. I did it. Well, Vegeta did it. He got a, he got a max roll. All right. And the cool thing is... Uh, I think he's the only one left. Yeah. This is a Lancer. He's going to move. Yep. Lancers always run. I missed. Oh, no, I didn't miss. I thought I pulled my shot at the last second, but I didn't. All right, team. We've already killed six enemies out of nine. But there's still a sectopod left. Or sectopoi, whatever they're called. We are so... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, we're closer than I thought. I keep forgetting, like, it does. it is a little misleading how far away you are sometimes. If my guy dies, I guess Jay takes over as the commander. He'll use the, he'll use the technology to time travel. <laughs> Moving to position. Uh oh. We've got advent here. There it is. Now here's the cool part. Besides reinforcements, these are the only enemies that are on the on the map left. If I take these guys out, 
we're done. I can just rush. Now, here's the issue, though. Robot guy is very, 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 very dangerous. I'd like to move up closer, but I can't. I'm going. That is true. Like, I mean, I could, but I'm saying, like, what happens in an instance, like, when Aura died? I already used all three of my reloads. That was bad. Okay, here's the deal. I do a butt-ton of damage to this guy, right? But I also have... He has armor on. If I could shred that armor with someone... Like, using a grenade, for instance. Or an EMP grenade, which isn't going to shred ammo, but... Or, uh, armor, but... Hmm... I don't know. I'd like to get rid of that. Fo I would like to get rid of that. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to grenade him to get rid of with my character since I can't do anything anyway. I'm going to grenade him. Oh, no, that's not true. That's not true. I can combat protocol him for a guaranteed 7 to 8 damage. Never mind. Everyone has something to do. You know what? We'll shoot with music. She's going to shred two armor anyway. Here we go. Or three armor. Do that damage. Three armor shredded. It's really, really, really good. And hack defense decreased. Vegeta, move in. Knowing there's only these enemies left means I don't have to trigger anyone else. Yay. Now, I could shoot him. Could shoot him. Could shoot him. But I have an EMP grenade for that. How much does this do? 10? How much health does he have? More than 10. Honestly, I should probably do this. Oh, I can't reach. No, the EMP grenade has longer reach. I was going to hit him too. All right. No, when I ate protocol. No. Well, that's chocolate. That's why. Uh, combat protocol. Eh, I kind of want to go by the thing of, like, use it or lose it. Like, if I didn't use all three in one match, they're gone. It's almost like a per day thing. But it doesn't do a lot, does it? For how much health he has, I mean. I really need to kill these other people. I'm focusing on this thing, but I really should do some damage to them, too. God, why is your aim so bad? Snipers definitely got nerfed in this. I can't reload or else I lose my turn. I gotta do something. I could hack him. I could hack him. You know what? Let's hack him. Let's take it. We'll be ha we'll do hacky time. Alright, Sectopod. 51%. Oh, and a 49% is bad. All right, do it. Ooh. <laughs> that was... That was a little close. I haven't, seen, I haven't seen that movie in a while. Groundhog Day. Although, isn't there a theory that he spends like a thousand years in a loop or something? <laughs> I think he would have gone insane by then. Uh, Okay. Now that we took care of that... We need to do damage to the other people. I can move up slightly. Can I grenade any of them? I can. The shield guy is a little annoying, but he's not as, he's not as dangerous as this person. So we're going to do this. Bombs away. All right, and thump. And I got a crumbo for them. The fact that explosions crit is so weird, but I'll take it. 55%. Uh, you know, I'm kind of thinking maybe all my snipers should just be spec for pistol. <laughs> On the move. Yep, now I can't see. All right. Whiskey, you're... Who was hurt? Who got shot? Oh, that's right. She got shot. Vegeta. Finish him off. Blech. God. Ooh, loot. I want that loot. More loot means more Illyrian cores for building more ammo and war suits and stuff. It also means potentially more uh, weapon mods. Alright, well, I guess my turn's done. Affirmative covering now. 
Although, I think I'm going to heal. I'm going to heal. Don't forget about healing. Kind of nice. Here you go, Shadow. Have some Metagel. You know what's funny? I've been, so, I've been so focused on making the layouts and trying to do alerts and stuff. I don't even know what I'm playing after this. On, on like, Series Saturday days. Like, I don't even know what I'm playing after this. That's going to be annoying. Is he awake? He wake up. I think he might. I think he wakes up next turn. All right. Well, now I have to get through the five shields, or I can go after Shield Guy, and when he dies, the shield goes down. Can I skull? Wow, this might actually just kill him. Hmm. I might do that. I might do that. And if, I, I can definitely kill the Sectopod before it does anything. Which means I might want to do that instead of trying to kill the Shield Guy just to take off five health. Especially since I can do this. I'm ready. Forty. Yeah, let's just let's just start shooting him. We'll kill him before he wakes up. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. He is down for four turns. Four turns. I guess that means I'm just gonna kill Shield Man now. We have to move though. Remember, we still have a timer. I keep. I, I need to remind myself. We gotta move. Well, like mass, like besides Mass Effect, Pokemon, and Final Fantasy games, that's what one-off and series days are for. Again, one-off is just a game that's not that long, like three or less streams ish. And okay. series is either like what, well, like it says, a series like Dragon Age, or Knights of the Republic, or why can't I see him? I feel like I should be able to see him. Uh. But yeah, like, like games that I can finish in three streams or less, like, you know, like any game that's like, I guess technically like any amount of time. It's like maybe like 20 hours or like 18 hours ish. I really need to kill this shield guy. All right, shield guy, what can I do to you? Does anyone have any grenades left? M does. And she, you know what? M's running. We need to catch her up with everyone else. Man, I, once I start Dragon Age, it's going to be a thing. Because Dragon Age takes forever. Alright, just kill the Sectopod. I know I know he's pretty much dead already, but... He also explodes. Which I think might have just taken out Shield Guy's cover. It did. Look at how... Look at how... Ta I'm a tactical genius. I, I, can, I definitely meant to do that. <laughs> oh, look at all that armor he has. No. All right. Music. Just stand there. Whatever you say. Just stand there. This will shred his armor. And that's a crit. He's dead. He's super dead. Can't shield yourself from that. All right. Now one of us is going to go get this gear. Also, we're moving like crazy. Gonna need to reload soon. Here I come. We know there's no more enemies. At least for one... Okay, this is it. This is it. This is where we get our time back. Get we know there's no more enemies on the field, except... Oh, it's because I picked the items up. Okay. Oh, uh, advanced stock and advanced... Ooh, that could be good. I've got it. Oh, God. Honestly, I've thought about adding No Man's Sky to the list because I just like exploring. That could easily go... That would technically be a one-off, except it's going to take forever. There are, there'll be games that are like that. Like, again, like you mentioned, like Minecraft, where I might play long enough to just have fun and then stop. There really is no ending to Minecraft. There is an ending to No Man's Sky, technically, although it loops after you're done. So for those kind of games, I'd probably just play it for a bit and just get a feel for it, have fun with it, and then just move on. On my way. But that, that was the whole point of making, like, differentiating between one-off Wednesdays and series Saturdays. One-off is just like, I can go through like, I mean, at least one game a day or even like half a game or even like three games. Depends. Like Steam games, like Papers, Please kind of fit into that. Yeah, but you can keep building in Minecraft. Just like in No Man's Sky, it loops again and you can keep exploring. There's an ending, but yeah. You know, there's an ending, but you know, why not? Hello, person I need to knock out. Let's all run in together. Wait, 
Is that the person? Or it, it says the person's here. Wait, what? This is weird. Oh, they're probably in here. No, that leads upstairs. What am I looking at? Are they above me? They're above me. Oh, come on. You know what? I don't care who this is. Vegeta, you're going up there. Making me making me climb a drain pipe. Hello, you. You're getting knocked out next turn. VIP and tow here. Target identity confirmed. Alright. Everyone run. M, just in case reinforcements show up, you're gonna go on the roof and go that way. You're gonna run you're gonna run like crazy. But you can easily get down from the roof in two turns. So come up here. Getting it done. I'm gonna reload in case enemies pop up. Did I reload? I did reload. Okay. Just taking a minute. Okay. It's killing time. I'm gonna stay on the ground. Just everyone go inside. Wow, there's just no enemies popping up, is there? No reinforcements. They must not care about this VIP that much, I guess. Hmm. Where's the door? Did I save a grenade? <laughs> I don't think I saved a grenade. Wait. M has a grenade. And she's on the roof. Okay. Oh, I can go through this window. Yay. All right. Uh, Here. Stepping off. Music. Here. Roger that. Camera freaking out a bit. Vegeta. Knock him out. Subdue. Yeah. That'll teach you to work with aliens. And carry unit. Target package in custody. VIP in tow here. This would be brutal. Imagine like before when I had to kill the VIP. Like it's like you know you're supposed to uh, get him, but if you can't, you kill him. What if I managed to pick the VIP up, but something happened to the person carrying them? So I had to just like kill the unconscious VIP on the ground. It's pretty brutal. It's like, well, we have no one to carry you, so sorry. But hey, necessary casualties. They're a collaborator. They're working for the aliens. Good to go. We have plenty of turns left. Plenty of turns. Knowing how many enemies there are is super helpful. Now there that is which we can deal with. Now that we have four turns, but we're so close to the evac point, we're just going to move, overwatch, repeat. Also, M is coming down here. I, I don't want a chance having her stuck up there. So M, you come here. Shadow. That's a dash, unfortunately. Eh, move here. It's better, it's better than no cover. Chocolates, myself, I've, oh man, I'm going to shoot someone in the face with a harpoon gun in a second. Alright, music, you move there. Vegeta has the person, so you can't fight. So you're going to move over here. Alright, we have you covered. I can't overwatch everyone until he's done moving. There you go. I feel sorry for these aliens. They're about to get messed up. Let's see who lands. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Normally, okay, we got a robot. And a stun trooper guy. And they just jumped into the hot zone. Hello. And shoot. The robot didn't move. Smart. The robot's the smartest one. Oh, this is going to be bad if this hits. And I missed. I missed. I'm standing point blank with a harpoon gun that has extra accuracy and I still missed. Come on. They're both dead though. I killed them. <laughs> They're both dead. I missed, but... And now I just murder the robot and run out. You know Alright. Oh, free... I love these free reloads. I wish the snake gun had that. Alright. We don't need cover. We're just going to run. Oh, yeah, he overwatched. Already forgot. Uh, oh. Music might have taken an unnecessary hit. That's kind of on me. Vegeta, get that VIP out of here. Come on, go, go, go. How, come on, Vegeta, you're stronger. Your power level is really strong. You can get out of here. Oh, don't worry. Uh, 
I will, in the future, near future, be making a giant list of every PC game and console game I own and seeing what's viable to stream. I, I have plenty of ideas. It's just I don't know what to I don't know what to do next. I don't want to do because I want to play the Mass Effect version of this a lot, and because I want to play Fire Emblem a lot on stream. I don't want the game that takes place in between them to be super long. Like, it'll be this, and then something that doesn't take that that long. I know, I know it's a series game, but still, that only means more than three streams. Like, a, you know, a couple weeks is fine. Well, not a couple weeks, a few weeks. Several weeks. Like, you know, three or four weeks. Chocolate, can you kill him? You probably can. There you go. But I, I, this game with the War of the Chosen mod on is 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 different enough where it's almost like a new game. Oh, I mean, it plays the same, but it's it's fun. So whatever I, pl I play in between this and either Fire Emblem or this again, I don't want it to be super long. So I'll, I'll try to find something that fits that bill. All right, we have two turns left, and we are out of here. Last time we went on this mission, I got captured, Aura died. But this mission, success. Not only did no one die or get knocked out or whatever, but we're captured. Uh, we got the VIP instead of actually just having to shoot them on the ground. Thanks to our new power suits. And new uh, weapons and weapon mods. Am I the last one left? I am. As it should be, I'm the last one out. And I'm hoping I can make the start gun better because I I, I am just not liking the fact this thing has to camp. You have to reload every turn. It is a little annoying. The stun is great, but it doesn't happen enough. Like just glancing at my Xbox games over here on the shelf. Some of these games are not on PC. So I would have to stream them on console. I prefer to stream off PC for obvious reasons. It's easier, it looks better, it runs better. But I definitely see the Fable games. But that's a series. If I start Fable, I'll also I'll finish it. So I don't want to do that yet. Uh, what else is over here? Dishonored. That game's kind of fun. Uh, Fallout. Eh, I'm not a big Fallout person. Uh, I also have a bunch of games in a storage thing. What else, what else? I have a lot of RPGs. So I'm not too worried about having too many RPGs played at the same time. That's just a thing on my channel. It's just XCOM is very, very similar to Fire Emblem. I didn't want to put, I want to put something in between just a little bit. Oh, ooh. Music is max rank. Saturation fire. Fire a cone shaped barrage of bullets at every enemy in an area. In addition, the cover of those enemies can be destroyed, damaged, or destroyed. Uses a lot of ammunition. That's, oh, yeah. This, I have this on uh, someone else already. Or do I? Yeah. I have another grenade. Wait a minute. I have another grenadier that's max level. I think I know I've done this before. Oh, yeah. Bigfoot. You're, you're a grenadier. I, I'm already, I haven't used you in a while. I forgot what you were. Rupture is really good, though. It's a guaranteed crit. And music always has the, the accuracy mods on her weapon and they all take the enemy takes an additional three damage from all attacks in the future it's basically a boss killer but this thing's pretty fun too eh, 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 mm. this is like high new with a minigun kind of like it and the dan and the fact that the cup you know we'll give her that we'll change it up a little bit bigfoot has rupture for big enemies and i'll give music the uh, saturate saturation fire Ooh. Look what I got. Capacitor discharge. Finally. And by the way, I'm max rank, finally. Yeah. I finally am the proper rank. And I captured someone. I don't know what that gets me. I have no idea what capturing someone gets me over killing them. Hello, Commander. Low intel. What? What? How am I low intel? 
I have 349 intel. How's that low? Uh, do I don't know if I can. If there's a weapon, well, I, I can't. I can't because um, the the weapons when you whenever you're in the field, you're gonna get one of the special weapons that are named, and that has a set color pattern. Also, the plasma the plasma laser Gatling gun thing barely has any. As you saw in the others, it's mostly just gray. There really isn't a lot of area to it that's colored. I as much as I love the power armor and how sleek it is. It's a little weird when you want to, like, customize it. There's less surface area for it, which is kind of a pain. Okay, we have money. We have money. Not enough to get Aura's stuff yet, but we will soon. Oh, that's right. I need to put her in the thing. I don't like the fact that we're chasing another set of coordinates into the middle of... Uh, We've wait. done it before, and we didn't like what we found then either. Wilderness or oh, there we go. There we go. I kept missing this. For all we know, our people will be prepped and ready for a fight. I just wish we had more to go on. I can give her insanity, which is debilitating telepathic attack that can inflict different negative conditions, including mental control of the target. That sounds fun. Or fuse. If the enemy is carrying explosives, they can be remotely detonated. That is awesome. There are quite mutons have plasma grenades on them usually. I think, uh, uh, the some of the well, most of the robot guys have explosions of some kind. That's pretty good. Or void rift, generate an explosive field of sonic energy that immediately damages everything within. Organic enemies have a chance to suffer insanity. Okay, well I'm doing that. It takes longer, but I'm doing it. It's basically insanity rolled into a thing that I think that's what the uh, the ball does. He, they shoot that like that psionic ball that just explodes pretty good. It's like a sonic grenade. You know what? Since we have a little bit of money, what can I buy? The ranger instincts thing is okay. Specialist is okay. Stay with me is pretty useful, but not really anymore. I don't have enough of these to really use this, but uh, vengeance. Nah. You know what? I'm going to buy this. It makes the PCS bonuses better, which by the way, I forgot to put on again. Once again, it's something else I'm going to have to put on people, but hey, it improves them. Makes them even more useful. That's one more thing I have to remember to do before every fight. I could go and take the weapons off right now, but it's actually easier to wait for a mission because it puts all the original six in the party with me. Then I just take everything off and take them out. I wish there was a button, though, that was just like, unequip everything. The guns included. All right. Now we just go back to doing what we were doing. Central, Commander, excellent. My analysis of the fragmented codex data is almost complete. The information I've uncovered so far outweighs the loss of the Shadow Chamber, as you'll see. Is that an elder? I haven't seen one in at least a decade. Yes, and I believe I now understand why. The elders appear to be afflicted with an aggressive form of tissue degeneration. Rapid muscular atrophy, to a degree I had not even thought possible. So they're dying. Sounds like our job just got a whole lot easier. As with most things involving this adversary, it's never quite that simple. The elders have been aggressively searching for a cure to their condition for centuries. Each time they encountered a new species, they procured what genetic information and material they required and moved on to the next world. Until now. I believe they found something in us. Something important enough to cause them to take root. A cure? Not that I can determine. Several key files were previously deleted as part of something called the Avatar Directive. Avatar. We need those files. Were I to gain access to a fully functioning codex, I might be able to recover them. Or blow the entire ship to hell this time around. I didn't say I needed the creature here, Bradford. I am confident I could access the unit remotely, provided your soldiers can get close enough to it in the field without destroying it first. That we can arrange, Doctor. We have to mind Jack a codex. Objective added. I'm keeping tabs on all our operations, Commander. All right. Our people are standing by for no your projects orders. active. 
And I believe we have, uh, let's see what we have here. Okay. We can actually uh, research stuff again. Yay. Although we're already doing the Berserker Autopsy, that's fine. All right. We just move on. And the next time we see a uh, Codex in, in battle, we just mind jack it. Now, only one day? I'll take that for one day. Now, the Avatar Project is about to get us killed. I see that. But once it gets one more tick, you have a timer. As soon as that happens, I can immediately take us to one of the facilities and we can blow it up. I just want to get Aura online, finally. Ooh, ooh, AP rounds. Hand machine with from ultra-strong, ultra-light alien alloys. These deadly rounds will effectively bypass all enemy armor to deal unmitigated damage. That's pretty good. I know we shred armor like crazy now, but still, that's pretty handy. To have like a, to just have like a rifle that just goes through armor. Not bad. Strategic resource located. I got 60 alien alloys and 48 uh, Illyrium crystals. Increase region income. Mm, that sounds pretty good. What do we have to do? Uh, I could increase the region out income. I could get some alloys. I could get some, you know, supplies. Avenger, it's only three days. Yep. Uh, like I said before, I was I was working on the Mass Effect layout earlier. I'm going to work on it after the stream as well. Uh-oh. All right, well, guess what? It's a good time to have AP armor, or AP ammo. Every enemy just has armor has armor for a month now. Yes, it is money. It's unfortunate, Commander, that your recent efforts have proven to be so mediocre. No, oh, well, how about I just... He only says that because I've allowed this to get so high, the Avatar Project. Yeah, yeah. Reducing the alien facility counter by two. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> Imminent. All right, well. Okay, I'm going to go get the... Pl all right, please let me do this. I just want this money. Give me this money, and I will destroy every avatar place in this, in the, on, the war on the face of this planet, right? Just get that down. I just want to get the money to make our stuff better. That's all I want. It's the only upgrade we really need that's left. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. has us locked in. We have to take evasive maneuvers. Okay, well, last time we did this, we got away. Setting course for the Indonesian Uh, run. Zone. Yeah, we got away. Stupid aliens. We're in the clear, Commander. No further sign of the pursuing UFO. Plotting new course. Oh yeah, I have to. As, as soon, as soon as I get enough money to make Aura's stuff better, we're going after the Avatar Project so we don't die. Nor, nor. Okay, we have enough. We have all. We have nearly nine hundred XCOM dollars. That is enough. Hey, Commander. Finally, we're doing this. First off, is there anything I could give my sniper? Anything? The grenades are almost useless. Smoke bomb. No, mine shield. Mimic beacon's kind of cool. Uh, not really a battle scanner, maybe? It deploys like a grenade, but I'm so far behind the action, usually it's kind of pointless. I really don't know what else to give us, because in the old game, you could just give him a scope, which was an actual item you had to equip. Maybe, maybe I'll give the sniper the flashbang, because it has increased range, they can hit people with it. Eh. Weapons. There it is. Aura now has a plasma big gun thing. Anything else I want? Advanced Psy thing for Laylee. Let's do that. I, ooh, I can make uh, I can make Ninja's axe better. Cost 65, why not? And now we have the armor. Here it is. Anodized chassis. Basically, it's just a power armor version of the chassis for the robot. Boop. And there we are. And with the leftover monies, board this ship who feels the least bit sorry to hear the elders are dying off. If anything, morale probably got a boost once word spread outside of the senior staff. Of course, there's always a catch. They've always got a scheme. And I get the impression we're going to end up part of their cure whether we like it or not. Basically, the the elders are like the prophets in Halo, except they're not lying to their people. They're just turning them into twisted monsters so they don't have to lie. Kind of like a uh, Kind of like a thing between the prophets and the reapers. They're looking for a cure. 
they take over an alien race that they find in space and then make basically make a covenant out of it. But instead of the covenant believing in their cause, they're just mind mind controlled basically or altered. I'm going to buy lightning strike. It makes you it makes you have plus 3 movement for the first two turns while you're concealed, which is really good for timers. And that'll be it for now. I'll save the 200 in case I need it. All right, all right. Let's let's find out what he looks like. New orders, commander. Let's do it. I went to engineering because he's a robot. All right. You soldiers. Oh. Look at how sleek he looks compared to what he did look like. His head's still stupid looking, but it's so much better before he was just like microwave on legs and microwave with legs and arms. Well, before it was like microwave with legs and arms and like padding on him. Now it looks like the power suit in mech form. It just looks like it has a nice sleek design. It looks like a robot. Like a nice, like, robot. Not what we had before. Now, can, what can I do to him? What can I What can I mess with him? Oh, I only have two choices, huh? Hmm. I kind of like this better. Because it looks more like armor. And arms? Yeah, I kind of like the first one better. It looks like he's wearing XCOM armor, but he's a robot. Oh, we can give him an armor pattern, except it doesn't affect that part of the armor. That's kind of weird. Hmm. Weapon pattern? Uh, Well, digital kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Although, hmm. Uh, I mean, yeah, digital makes sense. He is Robot Man. You know what? Armor pattern. Digital. Why not? Looking good. Looking good. Now, how about the head? I know we gave him the skull head because it looked most human, but it's so creepy looking. Aura gets a new head. How about something that doesn't look like it's going to kill me? Ooh, one of these. The powered ones. It kind of matches. It kind of matches the uh, the aesthetic of the, of the uh, power body now. That's actually pretty cool looking. Yeah. People won't be afraid of him in the hallways now. Main armor color was a yellow. And then uh, secondary color, which is that, was like a black of some kind. How about just like... A hmm. little too dark. There we go. Not bad. Yeah. It's like if Johnny Five from Short Circuit just uh, got swole and went to the gym. Went to the robot gym. Got an upgrade. Uh, oh yeah, this. Tracking route to target. Now I turned. Cooperation furthers mutual goals. Now, see, I turn. I I gave him Legion's voice okay. before, but I turned the mod off, but it didn't work. Let's see if it works this time. So now he sounds like Legion, hopefully. And well, there we are. We have. Oh wait, can I change the weapon color? Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I can. Yeah. Look at that giant laser gun. Oh, also, notice how he has it, like, I wonder if I can change his, the way he stands. He's kind of doing, like, the laid-back stance that the human does. I can't. Interesting. I guess it's just how he, he how he holds it. Huh. Well, there you go. God, he needs to level up. We're using him more often now. He's getting revenge. He finally has the stuff to, to get revenge. All right. Let's go take out some avatar sites before they just kill us all. Uh, there is one up here. Let's go to that one. 11 enemies, huh? A codex. Good, I need to mind jack it. A gatekeeper. That's the ball. That's the ball that's going to kill me. Uh, luckily, I have all that extra damage stuff for machines and armor. Sectopod. Oh, man. A gatekeeper and a sectopod. Ouch. I could always go to one of these. One of the actual sites. Uh, this one's better. There's a, it has a lot of enemies, but most of them are probably chrysalids. Let's go to this one. Setting course it's also closer. 13, South Africa. There are facilities that spring up that give them ticks, and then you take it away. These are just ones that you can do to just make it go down. Okay, first things first. Nope, I literally just did it. Okay, who was that? That was Shadow. All right, edit, load out. Take the gun off. There you go. That's all I got to do. 
Everything else can be taken off by every, by the uh, the button. Uh, loadout. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, it's because music's hurt. That's right. It will take someone out if they're hurt. Although if they're hurt, I believe it takes off the weapon automatically. Let me take a look. It did not because they're back. Okay, probably because they're back. All right. You know what? I'm going to get rid of this. I'm getting rid of the snake gun. I'm going to equip the Stark Rifle and put some better stuff on it. I'm just tired of having to reload every turn. Uh, Vegeta. I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a mod for this that just uninstalls everything. Uninstalls, unequips everything. Uh, let's see. M. Loadout. The Carrion. You have a regular Plasma Rifle. And Chocolate. You are going to take Hawkeye off. There we go. And now I remove everyone and take off all their items. There we go. All right, who's leading the mission? I should, but as you can see, uh, I'm already max rank, and I try not to use max rank people that much. But we need, we need at least one support. Hmm. You know what? Jason, he's the healer. I like having a healer. Yeah. And as far as heavy uh, uh, grenade deer goes, I'll use Hazel. She has ho Hazel as hollow ho targeting, and Pilgrim has the more more explodey damage. So we'll use both of them combined. That's a good combination. Sniper, I'm gonna use Julie just because I like the pistol sniper build, and her mask. God, her mask is creepy. I like how I like I gave her like her own set of armor, the like the non sleek looking, uh, like non shiny finish, and just a scary mask. All right, Ranger, uh, Heather, and could bring my other specialist, but I could also win. Oh, we'll bring we'll bring a we will bring Robo Aura, of course. Why not? God, look at look. Oh wow! I know you can't see this Bigfoot, but his robot guy. It also levels up his robot friend that that's with him. That's like basically the robot thing that uh, supports have. It's like a huge ball now. Pretty cool looking. Oh, we're, we're set. Also, let's get rid of the flamethrower and give him the rocket launcher. I know we're going to get something better later, but... Hmm. Now, I seriously doubt this. I seriously doubt this. But can I install weapon mods? I cannot. Okay. Uh, you're still... You're max rank. So, the only, the only reason I'm using Jay, I know he's max rank too, is because he's a healer. And there's 15 enemies on this map. Once everyone is near max rank, max rank or at least near max rank, then I'll start using everyone again. At this point, we're just leveling up, people. All right. Now, once again, Hazel has hollow targeting. So give her the version of the beam, of the beam gun that has uh, accuracy. And then Pilgrim. Which for now is okay because I end up giving this person the tracer rounds anyway. Because I have, oh yeah, I have AP rounds now. That's right. Which doesn't make any sense to give to uh, this person because they heavies shred ammo or armor. You don't need to bypass it. So I st I'll still give him the tracer rounds until I get something better when the next one's done. So spray and pray. I will give him the tracer rounds and I will give Hazel the EMP rounds. Which means I will give uh, Pilgrim the EMP grenade, and I will give Hazel the frost grenade. I know I, that limits my grenades, but it's helpful to have the frost bomb on the grenadier because the, the the range is just like a plasma grenade, unlike the flashbang, which just hits everywhere. All right, uh, Jay is going to get the venom rounds because he's Snake Man. I've, I've, I have to, well, no, no, I, oh, that's right, I can't do that. I, he has he needs the med kit. I would love to give him. Venom rounds, but the snake thing doesn't have a second uh, slot. Aw. Oh, well. Also, Jay is going to get the Executioner, I believe. Yeah. Now, I know that Julie is a pistol build, but that's still, she can use the sniper rifle almost as well as anybody else. She just doesn't have the bonuses to it. 
All right, good, good. And I'm also going to give her the Talon Rounds because those are great. Although, I forgot to look this up. Aw, I don't know if these ammos affect your secondary weapon. I don't think they do. And if they don't, still helpful because sniper rifles are inherently better crit-wise. It's still helpful to use it. Hmm. I, I don't think it does. God, I love that look with her gun. That, that red laser sight with her scary eyes. All right, Heather. I'm going to give you the Hawkeye. And that's it. I don't need the spark. I don't need the Stark because there's only five people in here. Now, we have ammos remaining to. Uh, well, Jay can't equip anything either. So guess what? That just means Heather gets her choice of burn rounds, AP rounds, or venom rounds. This is a weird situation where we have one person in who has no slot for for ammo, and another person who doesn't have a slot for ammo at all because he's a robot. So we don't even need two of them. So I could do burning rounds. Eight. Since we have two grenadiers on the mission and they shred ammo like crazy, I'm going to give burning rounds. But once we have more ammo, I will get rid of this. You know what? Just because we have it. Let's get rid of... I'm going to give Pilgrim the poison rounds. Just for fun. It is fun to make him be 10% more, ac more accurate. But let's just give him the poison rounds. With hollow targeting, it makes up for that anyway. No one has the AP weapon, AP rounds on, but hey, we have any mission that doesn't have two Grenadiers, I'll take AP uh, ammo. All right, I think we're good. All that's, oh yeah, the P, the things I for keep forgetting to equip. Uh, Here they are, personal combat sims. We have five, and we have five people to equip them. Hey, look at that. All right, we have HP plus four, plus four mobility, which is great. Plus 3 mobility, plus 20 dodge, and plus 17 dodge. So we have 2 mobilities and 2 dodges. And 1 HP. Uh, What would a sniper like? Well, she is a pistol sniper. That's a little different. Mobility to get in range of pistol more often sounds good, but so does dodge for a sniper. Oh, there's so many choices. So we have 2 heavies, a support, a sniper, and a ranger. I'm going to give the Ranger, because Rangers tend to be more up close, which means they can get flanked easier. I'm going to give her the plus 20 dodge. Although, mobile actually makes sense too, because they're a Ranger, they get up close, but let's give her the dodge. My heavies, Jay, because he gets shot all the time, I will give the other dodge. He's a, he's a slippery snake. Which means I'm going to give my heavies more mobility. Which makes sense. They're heavies. They kind of need the mobility. Although, I'm going to give I'm going to give Hazel the plus four mobility. I'm actually going to give Julie the plus three. Pistol has a little bit less range than everything else, so it makes sense maybe to get a little closer. Faster. What am I doing? There we go. Which means Pilgrim is going to have more HP. I know some of these don't make super sense. Maybe they're not the most efficient things, but I only have five. If I had more to work from, I would give... Honestly, I'd probably give everyone dodge. Dodge is great. Dodge and mobility are great. All right. Look at how good our team is now. All this extra ammo we have, all the grenades we have, all the things I just put on that I haven't even used yet, plus fully leveled up robot. Here we go. Beware, aliens. You're now messing with a f almost a fully built team. The only thing I'm missing is a souped up uh, Psy operative person. Which I'm working on. Shen and Tygen barely managed to pull these coordinates from that codex thing they had down in the shadow. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's origin point, but Whoops. can't know for sure. Based on the fight it put up, I'd expect heavy resistance either way. Um, remember when I said I have to mind jack the codex for the next mission for the story? Forgot to put the mind jack on someone. Or the flashbang. Whoops. Oh well, there's plenty of codex. We'll, we'll find one in the next fight. Because that's part of the mission, we're always going to find codex. And even if we don't, we can see if the mission has one or not. Alright. 
Move to investigate the God, look at Pilgrim's health. Look at all those health ticks. Let's see if he sounds like Legion. Come on. Let me do it. Here we go. He does. He got a Legion voice upgrade. And look at all that armor. He has, look at all that health and armor. This is why it was so expensive. You're basically like a sec, well, you're not a sectoid, like sectoid thing, but you're a, you're still a walking tank. Track the codex point of, yeah, I can't even do this. Yeah, I can't even do this right now. We're just going to kill stuff. And the question is, where am I going? Um, I guess we'll continue to go this way. He found nothing, which means everyone's going to run forward. We're not timed. We're not timed. But I am a little impatient sometimes with this stuff, so. Roger that. Also, look at how far I can move. I have the thing that gives me plus three mobility in the first two turns when concealed. I can move Location so far. Confirmed. And especially the people that have the extra movement on. Jay has dodge because he's Slippery Snake Man. Got it. Go, Jay. God, everyone can run so fast now. Well, at least two of them can. And everyone can right now, but... Come on. Come on, game. What you doing? There are a lot of chrysalids in this map, and sometimes that messes with this. They're, like, thinking about popping through the ground. It's still thinking, by the way. There it goes. Yep. Yep. It was being weird. Well, we know an enemy is over here for a fact. So let's go that way. Even though Julie is a pistol sniper, she still gets the same elevation bonus as everyone else. I'm going to put her up top. Here. I'm all over it. Especially since we have a fully decked out Vicarian sniper rifle now. I've got enemy movement. That just makes it even more likely I'll use it. All right. Well, we have one. We have fi there are 15. By the way, there are 15 enemies on this map. 15. Oh, I somehow missed Hazel moving. Whoops. All right. Let's see. Here, Jay. I mean, I could get I could get the high ground with pretty much anybody, everyone. That's pretty good. Although we could also flank this way. You know what? Jay, flank him. Along with Heather. Jay and Heather go this way. I love not being timed though. Fifteen enemies is tough. It is, but not being timed means I can just take my time, get set up. Uh, hmm. can't really go anywhere with Pilgrim right now. That would be super helpful. Although, yeah, I can remember I can use I can use Aura as cover. Position bestätigt. I love that. That makes him even better. I can just use him as full cover. All right, Hazel. Sorry, I forgot to move you. <laughs> move here. Copy that. And I think we're good. I'm gonna actually move Aura up a little more now. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, You know what? Stay there for now. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Oh, they're moving away. No, come back. It's best to kill them when they're in groups of three. No, come back. All right, they're right there. They're right there. They're right there. One heavy weapon of some kind just nukes them. And we can also move up again. Hazel, move up. Julie. Julie can't see them from where she is. Oh, no, yes, yeah, she can. Never mind. I'm being stupid. Uh, Heather. I kind of wish I could move up more to kick things off this round, but let's just move here. Rolling. Uh, attacking from this side is really annoying, by the way. Like, I can't see them. I don't want to go any further ahead. Um, kind of don't like this. So... We're going to move Aura up more. I mean Legion. You can definitely see someone doing that. They got their body rebuilt as a robot. They finally have the best stuff. And it's like, could you um, could you change my voice, please? Like, that's the thing we can do, right? It is the future. All right. We're doing it. Even, oh, Pilgrim can't see them. I guess they are really far away. Yeah. Again, we're not timed. I'm going to wait a turn. You better hope they don't spot one of us or else they're all That's dead, probably. Surprise. Yes, they're moving closer. Yeah. 
All right. We're attacking. Who gets the first shot? Oh, yeah. Remember? Um, oh, that's all. Oh, Julie doesn't have it. That, that broken sniper overwatch where everyone moves. It's the, it's the best thing ever to use when you're in concealment. Julie doesn't have it. I might actually respect her and, or take a look and see what power she gets instead of that. I could face off, but I can only see one person for some reason. I would love to get a triple kill with, with High Noon. It'd be fun. I think Pil actually, wait, hold on. I think Pilgrim has it. Because of that building I have, yeah, Pilgrim got it. He got that he got the uh, sniper ability as a random level up for a heavy. Which means he's gonna mow these people down. Except I can't use it on the second turn, I see. Hmm. Oh well. Alright, who's kicking things off? Um mm, well, Heather has a crappy plasma grenade that I left on her, so why not use that? I know it doesn't do as much damage as everyone else's plasma grenades, but you know, when else am I going to get to use this thing? And I can't hit them all. Welp. I can probably just annihilate someone right now. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's a guarantee. It's a non gar oh, It's a nine or ten kills. Look at my crit chance. Ninety-seven percent crit chance. Forty percent for flanking. Twenty percent for talon rounds. Seventeen percent for superior laser sight. I don't know why it's seventeen percent. Weapon crit or weapon crit. Ten percent chance. Dead shot. Ten percent chance. His head's gone. Like this is it. Yeah. And now we kick things off. You want some more? Promotion earned. Ooh, Julie leveled up. Good. More pistol perks for me. Oh, you're being super flank, buddy. Uh, you're not being super flank, buddy, for some reason. I move. Oh, I can't move again, though. Crap. Um... Oh, wow, look, Aura's accuracy is still garbage. But that's okay, because everyone's is right now. Because they're behind full cover. 75. Hmm. Hmm. By the way, I know I missed my chance to Lightning Hands with Julie, but it was a guaranteed kill. I was going to I was gonna take it. There are 15 enemies on this board. I'd rather not use up all my grenades right now. Let's save my explosives for later. 50%. Jay, I love your lizard. I love your lizard costume. I'm liking it. It's cool that you're comfortable in it. But I'll be honest, it's kind of getting outdated. Power armor gives, I think, as much health, maybe a little less. And the the the, the freezy scorpion thing d d has terrible accuracy every time. And you only have one equipment slot. I'm not sure what to do here. Get him, Legion. Uh-oh. Well, yep, and that's the downfall to moving forward. It's only one, though. It's only one. That was weird. There we go. 70% shot on him. 49%. Okay. Turret it is. Yeah. Aura right, hit something. So the turret's going to die in one more hit. 9% chance. You know what? You're still concealed, though. Eh, screw it. Eh, the grenade won't kill... The grenade won't destroy the cover, though. It might destroy the tree. 56. And hear me out on this. Even if this misses, she has hollow targeting. Which will make him easier to hit for everybody else. If this hits, great. If it misses, everyone else will still hit. And perfect. Perfect coin flip hit. 56%. And now someone else just blasts him. 71. It's not bad. Or Jay could shoot with 64. That's not great. Can move up a little bit. I guess that'll be okay. 68. Or 
All right, well, 68 is my best shot. Even Oh, no, 71 is. Okay, let's go with that. Yeah! Overkill. All right, only one enemy left. And I have two people that can go. Jay... You could do the frost burn thing. I only get one use of it per round, and I just I don't think it's that good. It just it misses way too often. Heather's is still is in concealment, by the way. If I could keep that, I'd love it. Hmm. Which one do I have on? Hold on, which weapon do I have? Executioner. Ooh, ten percent chance to insta kill. Do it. If I hit anyway. And I missed. I missed. I got nothing. Oh, man. All right. Well, Heather is going to have to shoot him. But she won't kill him. And I still stay concealed if I don't do that. You know what I should have done? I should have. I keep. He's. That's a Lancer. If I was smart, I would have overwatched with both of them. Affirmative. Covering now. Because they're going to run at me. Or he's going to run away. And get shot in the back. Oh, yeah. Watch the I overwatched with someone that's still concealed. They don't shoot when they're not concealed, but now that she's seen... Uh-oh. Ooh, point blank. And he's on... He's dead. He's already dead. Next turn, he's dead. What is... Oh, he got a... Wait, what? Why did he get a free action? That was weird. Hello, turret. Turret missed. Turret missed the giant robot standing in the middle, uh, out in the open. Yeah. Good job. Good job, turret. 99% shot on the turret. You know what? Let's finish it off with Aura. Yay, Aura killed something. Finally. Yay, upgrades. We require more heavy ammunition. Promotion earned. Another reason to kill it for, uh, with him. All right. 58%. Ugh. Why is it so bad? I'm going. You flanked? Are you flanked? I don't know I'm doing this. He's What am I doing? He's dead next turn. When he moves, he's dead. Let's just move up. Uh. So we've killed, after that guy's dead, four. Four targets. Out of 15. This <laughs> is a long mission. I already forgot. Who did I give the uh, the robot rounds to? Uh, not him. Which means her way back here. All right. Oh yeah, Aura's Aura's cover. I'm always gonna. Oh wait, now I can't see anybody. All right. Seventy three, huh? Yeah, take it. Twelve percent chance to crit. Didn't crit. How much health he got? So that's a lot left. That must have been minimum. All right. Well, it'd be nice if I could finish this thing off before he shoots someone. But I don't think I can see it. Nope. Hazel's already moved. Julie's already moved. Uh, it's not going to matter there. I'm just going to Overwatch in case that guy doesn't die from. Yeah, I can't hit the turret. I can't. I can't get the turret. And he died. <laughs> and the overwatches don't do anything because turrets don't move. But lesson of the day. Turrets don't move. Take your best shot. You missed. Because you shot someone at full cover. All right. Let's move up. And why? Oh, the, 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 the cover here is all perpendicular to what I want. I don't like it. You know what? Pilgrim's got the health. You move up. Uh-oh. Hey, look at that. Three more enemies. So that's eight. Counting these three in the turret, that's eight enemies so far. About halfway done. Once these things are dead. And that's not good because we're all flanked by these guys. Hmm. Hmm. Well, assuming the turret's dying... I need to shift my camera angle here. There we go. Oops. 
There we go. The enemy's this way. And that means Pilgrim is just out in the open. On the move. Julie, can you see the turret? No, you cannot. Julie cannot see the turret. Let's do this. Heather is going to run and gun. Because I need some help on the front lines. Good to go. This will be very helpful. It would be very helpful if you made this shot. Good. And you have the health to take the incoming hit. Plus, you, you know, you know these people are going to do the reload thing on me. But several of my people, especially my heavies, have free reload. Now, I would, you know, I'm not going to hold it against myself if I use a grenade here. 67, huh? That high noon ability will come in handy with if they all clone themselves, at least. 68. Ugh. T nothing. I have a rocket. I can shoot a rocket. Why does it show the rocket not hitting them? Oh, because it's oh the oh this is in the way. Even though it's showing me over there, I can't I can't see them all enough. We'll move over here then. That's better. Except it's not. Because I can't I still can't hit two of them. Oh. Wow, the line of sight of the rocket's terrible. It's very picky. 51, 50, okay. 75%. Take it. Oh, wow. I got the 10% chance to kill. You know, it says 10%, just like how a 70% you should, should think it should connect more often. That 10% instant kill is triggering quite a bit. Here's what we're going to do. Overdrive. Get shield boost. And we're going to move somewhere where this rocket can actually hit them. Affirmative. I think it's funny I installed all those Mass Effect mods and turned them off. The one thing I am using is the Legion voice. That's all I'm using. There we go. Fire. It's not great damage, but at least it's something. Get rid of the cover. And if I get lever mind, I was going to see if I get lucky, the clones are behind me. Julie can kill them with a pistol. But all the clones are. Oh, there's one. Okay. All right, Julie. You can only hit two with face off. Although, if it hits both, it kills both. So do it. Missed. 87% shot them. Oh, all right. Okay. Well. I missed an 83% shot, and then the person dodged. And, yep, because I because I glanced. Well, then. I'm just surrounded now, aren't I? Uh, wow, I am... There are so many enemies. No, oh, I want to kill three of them. How many people do I have left? Two against five. That was not how I wanted this to go. Well, unless I want to get shot to death, um, I kind of have to do this to take out two of them. Which two? Take out these two? These two. I don't think it really matters. Do it. It seems like such a waste to do it this way, but... They're toast. And last enemy that I can kill for this round. Hey, I missed, but since I have the accurate Hawkeye, I did three damage and killed it. And I have one move. I don't care. All right. It's most likely going to do the thing that makes me reload, but hey, several of my people have free reloads. Yep, here it comes. This is a very annoying uh, move to do. Yep, and that is most of my team. And now someone gets shot in the ass. Or over... Okay, never mind. Never mind. They were stupid. Except I can't move with this person on Overwatch. But I can do this, though. Free move. Yeah, the angry pistol is now even angrier. It's like a plasma shotgun pistol. And now, I can move. 
did I destroy the other turret? I, I kind of forgot about that thing. <laughs> I think I did. Uh, it's hard to tell the diameter of this thing. I think it's safe here. Finally. Yeah. And free reload, just because I can. It does waste my free reloads, I guess, but... Alright, Heather, you stay there for now until this thing goes away. Alright. Free reload. Aura, since we're kind of moving this way again. You know what you're gonna do? You're gonna you're gonna execute this thing. Just just execute fifty percent. You're right next to it. You're right next to it. I hate you. I I hate your I hate your robot body. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. Moving to designated position. Once again, free reload. Kind of assume the robot, the, the expensive upgrade would make you more accurate. Hmm. Maybe there's another, maybe there's a thing I can get later. 87%. Yep. Further away, not behind them. What a graze. Six health graze. Kill confirmed. Okay. Who do I need to move out of this thing? Heather, you move all the way around here. Don't run through it. You ran through it. Although, it, oh, running through doesn't cause the reload thing. All right. Now all I have to do is get Jay out. I guess who does not have a free reload. That's okay. Okay. And Overwatch, just in case someone... And I, we've killed eight enemies. Oh, this is the majority of the enemies on the map that are left, probably, are these things. They just pop out of the ground. They're not that bad. And since they just... They only melee... It makes it a little easier to deal with. Okay. We know they're there. So we're going to move up. I can handle that. That functionality does not dispatch. Whoa. Ow. Ow. Why did he, he why did he attack the one person he can't poison? Crystal it's poison. Why attack the robot? That also has four armor. He only did two damage to me. You know what? 90%. All right, here we go. Didn't kill. One health. Now I have to waste someone's move on killing that. Let's move already. Might as well... Oh, I can see the other thing. Ooh. Pistol shot. 100%. Yeah, pistol's doing six damage. That's nice. Oh, you see that? Especially when I can shoot three times sometimes without having to move. Alright, Hazel. 94%. Other good thing about Crystal fighting, they don't use cover. They kind of just stand out in the open and die. And now that he's marked, my next shot should be a near, you know, 100% shot. I like to think. If I can actually get a shot. So this is the 10th enemy? We have five more. 89. Take it. Useless crit. When we get to the randomized, well, the rental randomizer in Stadium, we'll see a lot of those. All right, Jay. Move up a little bit. Everyone overwatch. Oh, it ran into me. Good, good. Wow. Ten, ten percent, my ass. Well, remember the thing in Blitzball? Anyone ever watched that? Where it was like a thirty percent chance to dodge tackles, and I did it like sixty percent of the time. It's kind of like that. Heading to that Everyone, move up. Here I come. I know I just moved my sniper up, but hey, Seems pistol sniper. Doable. It's weird. It's like the it's like the uh, the mouse did the thing again. Yep, that was a run too, so I can't move him back. What's over there? Yeah, it's almost like the sniper rifle. It's weird. It's like for her, normally it's like the sniper rifle is the main gun and the pistol is the sidearm, right? For her, it's reversed. The pistol, the sniper rifle is just like on her back, and she just uses a pistol. I wish you could akimbo. I wish you could dual wield pistols in this. Have like a like the perk for getting max level. 
could be like have two pistols. On Overwatch. Overwatch. Affirmative. Covering now. All right, robot man, run. Yes. Hey, robot. R Robo Aura has two kills this match. A turret and a bug. Come get some. Nothing, huh? Now, remember the last time I had to fight against the stupid chrysalids and it took me forever to kill them because I had to run across the map to find them? <laughs> kind of what this is. Whatever you say. Not too late. Think I found something. Yep. Chrysalids. Three of them. Oh, what is that? Uh, ah, poison. <laughs> I actually forget what this is. I we'll find out. All right. I guess that'll be okay. Side quest in God of War. Hmm. Man, they have just enough health to live a, pl a plasma rifle shot. It, see, in numbers, they're very dangerous. Hazel, kill him. Good roll. Good roll. Taken care of. Uh, ninety three. Is this pistol or sniper rifle? Pistol. Face off. I can hit two of them. Eh. <laughs> it's better than nothing. Eh, do it. Good shot. Crit. And five. Good shots. Good shots. And one grenade will kill two of them. Speaking of grenades, I still have both grenades on Pilgrim. Why, hello, Chrysalids. Let's see if I crit any of them. Crit explosions. Yep, two of them. Also, they're not going to drop any loot. They're, what are they going to drop? <laughs> Just bug parts. Goo. You know what, Robo Aura? You get the last kill, if you can get up here. You can see them? You can. Well, well, yep, I kind of saw that coming. All right, all right. Someone else gets the kill. Heather needs more HP, or XP, I mean. 94% shot. And there it is. I kind of lost count. Are there any more enemies? I'm kind of afraid what might come through this portal, this alien Stargate thing. Yeah, he's chrysalid poison. That's going to hurt a lot. Got a burrow here. Hey, there's one. Goodbye. Get him, Jay. Yeah, he's not dead, but he's hurting. Pilgrim, no. Oh, Pilgrim got hit again. Oh, he's not doing great. He has plus four health, but I mean... Eh. Okay, well, Jay, I know what Jay's turn is. Heal Pilgrim. Pil 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 Heal Pilgrim, please. All right. Now Jay heals him and everyone else. Kill the bug. Kill the Starship Trooper bug. Out of ammo here. Yeah, see, this, this is the thing. Like, Julie's always using her pistol, but now guess what? It's time to bring out her, uh, it's time to bring out her secondary sniper rifle with a 57%, even without the bonuses, the sniper. 57% chance to crit because of the Talon rounds, the laser sight, the weapon has 10% crit automatically, and this does, uh, that's a bonus that I bought, Deadshot. That means every sniper, with even without the perks, has that chance to crit, and there it is. <laughs> Snipers are just crit machines. Who's keeping score? I still wish the scope was an actual item, though, because I could equip the scope and an ammo. But the way it, the way it, the game, this game is built now, you can't, can and my map lost the thing again. Yay. The way this game is built... It's either tracer rounds or scope on the weapon. Uh-oh. I'm not sure what we were expecting to find out here, but this is the same rift the codex used when it appeared. This thing could lead anywhere. It may not even be pointing at Earth. As with most things. This I think is this part is the spot where you're supposed to find these enemies for the first time, canonically. But since I kept messing around in the beginning, uh, I found it already. But there you go. It's 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 the ball. And I only have oh, I only have three people that can go. It's not good. 
That's actually really bad. Can I do this to him? I, pff, I can. Oh, hey, look at that EMP grenade. 12 damage. But if I use his regular shot, 57. Hmm. 44. Well, I think this might be the first time we're getting... Well, besides that one time he shot the ball at us. He's going to get a shot off. And it's going to hurt. So I'm going to make sure everyone lives. Go patch him up. We're going to heal Pilgrim for 5 health. I need to buy the medicine thing so I can heal more. That'll be the next priority. And I can still shoot him for 77 77% for not a lot of damage. Ugh. Uh. Well. Overdrive. I'm going to just... Well, you know, he's going to use it. He's going to use an area of effect. So I'm going to go back here. All right. 52 from... From this, all right. Well, at least I'll shred some armor if I hit. Get him, Aura. Please hit. I don't like this head. This head has bad eyes. Let's change his head later. All right. Well, EMP grenade it is because it has a chance to stun. Friendly fire. It's an EMP grenade. What is Hazel a robot? <laughs> All right, please stun. Please stun so we don't have to see this thing in action. Did it stun him? Did it stun him? It did not. It did. He's stunned for two turns. Oh. Not only does that thing have an EMP like or a giant like psi bomb, but it has other stuff too that hurt a lot. And now we just shoot him once to get some extra damage. I was half expecting the execution to work. Would have been great. He's dead next turn though. God, the EMP grenade is amazing for stunning. All right, Julie, you feeling angry right now? Not really. You won't do any damage because of the armor. <laughs> you know what? Throw a grenade. No, he might drop loot. I don't know if these things drop loot or not. That's fine. Just, uh, Hazel, where are you? She already used her free reload. I think she only has one on her gun. I'm ready. Do it. Overkill. Kaboom! I'm pretty sure they don't drop loot, but just in case. I didn't want to blow it up. Are we done? We're done. It's a long mission. Yeah, can you imagine doing these missions on hard stuff? <laughs> With Iron Man on. I mean, once you get better stuff, you know... You're pretty good, but still, bad things happen. Come on, game. You can do it. The aliens aren't let me let me load. Come on. There you go. Why is there someone missing in the chair? Oh, oh, oh! Aura doesn't get to sit with everyone because he's a robot. Well, that sounds kind of rough. It's because he won't fit. I get it. He's probably, honestly, he's probably like on the underside of the jet. That's probably, be, that'd be fun. Being a human in a robot body, rebuilt like that. He, I can imagine he's just like on the undercarriage, like of the, of the ship. Just looking at everything. We are victorious. Uh, ooh, Pilgrim leveled up. Salvo or Hail of Bullets. Launching or throwing grenades or using heavy weapons does not end your turn if it's your first action. I do love that. Or unleash a hail of bullets that is guaranteed to hit but uses a lot of ammunition. I kind of like Salvo. Being able to use multiple uh, shots in one turn can save your life. Imagine like having a group of enemies pop up and flank you. If you can fire two grenades on your one turn, that's great. Although hail of bullets is also a guaranteed hit. So if something is low health, you can just kill it. Hmm... Hmm. These are both good. Tell you what, I'm going to use Salvo because I have plus two grenades. Or plus one in the grenade slot. Because I have more grenades, that's more useful. 
Anyone who doesn't have that should have the, the other thing. Hazel leveled up. Same thing. Well, guess what? She doesn't have that, so she gets Halo Bullets. She seems to be a heavy gunner. This build on this side is heavy gunner build. The Shredder, Suppression, Hollow Targeting. That's all with, like, the gun. Making yourself a better chain gun shooter. Which makes sense, because her, hers is also more accurate. The Grenadier has all this cool stuff. The only thing I didn't do was I did Volatile Mix instead of Chain Shot. I have Grenades deal plus 2 damage over... Take a shot with an aim penalty of 15. If you hit the target, you shoot again. That's I don't like that. That's stupid. I guess with better ammo or better aim, it's better. But I like how and I like how Jay's scarf just goes nuts sometimes when you go back into the menu here. Julie! Steady hands. If you did not move last turn, gain plus 10 aim and plus 10 crit chance. That's obviously the sniper one. Or hunker down now confers a plus 20 aim to the first shot on the following turn. I, That's the Gunslinger one, but I really don't like that one. That means you have to not do something your previous turn to get a plus 20 aim this turn. I mean, I can see that because if you're not in pistol range, you have nothing else to do, but I like to overwatch. I overwatch. It's what I do. So I kind of want steady hands. If you did not move, you get plus 10 aim and crit chance. I mean, she is a pistol sniper, so you're more likely to move than other snipers. But still, I don't like either of these for, for a pistol sniper. I never use Hunker Down, ever. I always Overwatch on the chance to kill something. So, honestly, both of these are kind of bad from what I do. I'm going to do I'm gonna do Steady Hands. Maybe we're, if we're holding a position or something and I don't move, it'll help. Well, yeah, I'm never going to use Hunker Down. Even if this procs, even if this procs like 5% of the time when I don't move with a pistol, because I need to move to get in range, it's still going to proc more than this thing does, which is none. All right. And Aura leveled up. Look at, look how happy he looks. Look at, look at his happy robot face. Look at his little, like, little light robot smile. And he just, well, <laughs> I touched his head with my mouse and he smoked. He's a little hurt. I have Rainmaker. Equipped heavy weapons gain, deal plus two damage and have increased area of effect. That's the future combat. I don't know what's called future combat. Or strike. Attack an enemy within movement range with a powerful melee attack. I. Anyone who watches me play this knows I don't like melee in this game. Not really. So I'm doing Rainmaker. All right. We're good to go. We got a psionic gate. We took that thing. Resembles a portal or gateway of some kind. Although we believe it provides the aliens with a means of long-distance travel, potentially beyond the confines of our world itself, it will take time before we can truly understand the Gateway's function. Based on what your team witnessed in the field, Commander, it is clear this... New objective well, added. I can, I can upgrade the Shadow Chamber to the Psionic Gate, which is cool because that means I don't have to use another slot for it. Psionic Gateway we recovered. We will need to make the appropriate modifications to the shadow chamber first, Commander. And there it is. 200 supplies, huh? How many do I have? 388? I'm good. Let's do it. Shadow chamber we have a Stargate in our base now. We have Stargate operations now. I don't even know what that did. We also have to use the Skull Jack on a Codex. I have to do that at some point. Um, complete the Advent Black Sight mission, which I'll do next probably. Yeah, we're good. I might scan a little bit first. I'm training uh, Laylee in her psionic move. Everything looks good. Tygen insists our forces should have no trouble disabling a codec. I keep interrupting them, don't I? Well, go down. Go down. More than one. That was a hard mission. Well, this long mission. Ooh, yay, too. Crucial to uncovering the alien's true intentions, Commander. That is the point of this stream, is to lower this down a bit. Efforts. What else can we do? We could take on the uh, story mission and try to uh, skull jack the codex. Ooh, it's an Andromedon. That's the one that the gooey. That's the gooey robot. Uh oh, there's no big mechs. That's good. Or I could go after this facility, which has a codex and a gatekeeper and a sectopod. Damn. Tell you what, let's scan a bit. Let's get so let's get some of this stuff done. Speaking of that, 